hi guys very good morning to all of you welcome to the video number 414 and in this video today we are going to talk about the excel vba user forms and uh, there is a special uh, uh, you know the control um, in the user forms which is called the uh, multi-page control okay so this is what we actually today going to see that uh, how we use it and under what situations you can actually go for it right so Welcome to the channel. If you're watching the channel for the first time, my name is Ajay and in this, uh, you know, channel we have 414 videos uh, on the Excel, Excel VBA, Access and Access VBA. This is where you can go and click on the playlist and you will find here different 45 playlists, right? Any video which talks about the Access VBA, you can see this is the video on the Access VBA arrays. This is on the Access VBA introduction. This is on the Excel which is the function we have talked about the offset and this is on the Excel VBA. So when you just uh, scroll it down, you get to see here all the different different playlists, right? So the purpose of this channel is simply to make you awesome in all these four fields. And you will find here much of the videos, you know, um, uh, be divided into three categories. Uh, we have the basic videos, we have the intermediate level video and of course the advanced videos, right? So this is how you can surf all the uh, the videos on this channel are using the playlist right and don't go by the video numbers because by the video numbers it is going to be difficult for you to go in a proper sequence so you can go and check out the playlist one by one based on your requirement uh, now in this video uh, I'm going to talk about the user forms um, the controls uh, which is is the uh, multi-page control and so we're going to talk about that but yes uh, just in case if you are new to the user forms then here you you can check out the act uh, excel vb user forms as well if i just show you um somewhere here we started this user form series uh, last year so this is where you can click you can see here we have got the 12 videos and the videos basically when you look at these all videos these are all the intermediate and advanced you know the videos they talk about the different different stuff here right um, but these are the part one part two part three videos which you can watch if you are new to the channel uh, if you're new to the user forms right if you're new to the uh, VBA programming so you can start watching from the part one part two part three and so on right so basically that's that's how um, we uh, uh, have uploaded all these uh, videos right uh, now I'm going to talk about so if you look at these uh, part 1 and part 2 and part 3 they talk about basically text box here right text box and command buttons this is the list box and the combo box uh, which is another actually uh, you know the other controls of the user form so similarly we have the um, control which is called the uh, type page right so when you go to the visual basic and when you insert the user form from here uh, I, I will today be talking about how to create a multi page so this is the form which you can obviously resize it this is the toolbox in case if it is not activated you can go to the view and you can click on the toolbox so from here we are basically going to uh, you know drag the controls which we need so I've talk, I have talked about this already talked about the label I had talked about the text box, common box list box right so in this video we're going to talk about uh, this particular item which is called the multi-page item okay so how how to do this so when you click here and you just drag it here this is how you know it is going to look like you can see here this is page one and this is page two okay if you run this this is how it looks like so this is a very good option if you have a multi multiple user forms and you want to display them one by one but on the single page on the single user form so page one can show a different user form page two can show a different user form right so let us go ahead and let us do it first of all you can you click on the page one and you click f4 which is a shortcut here maybe you can go to the view and you can click on this property window so you get to see basically here a caption so this caption can be changed so i can make it that uh, maybe let's say i want to write the dashboard one so this is how you can create the dashboard one click outside you can see that dashboard dashboard one it, it's coming here again click here and press f4 and now you're going to change this the caption to the dashboard two dashboard two this is how your dashboard two will be created so you have the dashboard one you have the dashboard two so when you just run this this is how it looks like dashboard one and dashboard two right so that's how the user form would look like 
now what we can do is inside this uh, the, you know the form basically we can create the different different forms for example you know when you click on the dashboard one over here uh, you just uh, you know go to your this uh, view um, and you click on this toolbox which is right now it shows uh, deactivated so what I need to do is I need to click on the form basically so this is the you see that when I click here this becomes activated when I click here this becomes activated so make sure that your form should be uh, highlighted and then I click on the toolbox uh, this window would come and now I'm going to create something maybe let's say I, I just go ahead and create the text box here so this is my text box and um, of course I will not uh, do any programming here because something you can uh, go and watch the other videos uh, but we are going to simply see that how to design this multi you know type page option so maybe i can create some label here just in case if you want to create some label that's how and uh, you can create one uh, the button as well uh, which is your command button for example this is the command button you can create so let me go to the f4 and quickly we are going to use the caption option so i'm just going to write this command button as submit maybe submit button right and you have the submit uh, similarly here in the label also press f4 once you select the label one and go and change this to maybe let's say i want to just write here name okay out of that right so this is how guys your this basically the dashboard one is going to look like right now when i run this this is how you would see that it effect that's all so we have a one form here i can write something here and i can submit it and the form will work provided you should have done the coding right similarly when somebody clicks on the dashboard tool maybe you can show another form it's a very beautiful thing right so i click on the dashboard tool now i go back again to my user form because this is very important otherwise you will not be able to see this toolbox uh, just in case if you're new select this dashboard tool and then you go to the view you see that this is not coming so sure first you select the dashboard tool so that the form tools can be inserted on this dashboard too and then you click on the you know outside of this uh, basically or you click, should click on the form and then you go to the view and then from the view uh, what you need to do is you need to again click on the toolbox so once you have clicked on the toolbox now here you can go ahead and create another form for me maybe for example i just write here some maybe checkbox and i just go and maybe create some combo box you know sort of that stuff so this is how uh, you can actually get the forms, the, uh, the, form, the different different forms basically using your type page control. So when I click here, you see this is basically a form which would work according to your coding. And if somebody clicks on the dashboard one, you know, you can use this another form. This is a very wonderful option, very wonderful feature in the user forms this uh, this uh, the the control multi page is actually extremely very beautiful and very useful not only this if you just want to rename it for example i know that uh, you can just click here and you can press f4 i told you right what you need to do you need to go to the caption and you you can change it but you can even right click guys just you know right click here once 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 it is clicked right click new page would you like to insert the new page delete page rename and move so if you click on the new page page will be inserted so this is another uh, place you know another actual tab which is created for the form so again you can just uh, go and right click and you can see that I want to rename this so page 3 maybe I want to uh, rename that as maybe let's say dashboard 4 the moment I'm going to click ok this is how it looks like and if you don't need that obviously you can go ahead and delete that so this is how guys you can create the different different you know forms in this and just in case if you do not need it you can rename delete and if i just delete it it is going to be removed okay so this is how this is this is the uh, the purpose of using uh, this multi-page control and uh, some people also pronounce it as uh, you know multi control that's fine uh, but the main purpose of this uh, basically option is you know this control is to uh, give you a flexibility uh, you know while working with the multiple forms you can quickly uh, switch from one tab to the another tab you know and you can use the different different forms so that's it and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to watch the other videos if you have any questions you can leave your comment and uh, we're going to talk about you know uh, some other features as well in the user forms in the, my next videos till then you take care of yourself and have a fantastic learning thank you so much guys